everybody! It's Tuesday, September 1st, and I'm not able to be at the Read Aloud today in person, so I'm recording this in advance so you can watch it if you would like to. So first we're going to start with our meditation, and we're up to 1 minute and 15 seconds. So we're adding 15 seconds every week. So I'm going to set my timer. All right, hands in your lap, eyes closed, facing forward. Our time starts now. Okay, there we go. That felt really nice. I kind of wish that we had had a little more time to do that. I'm excited for when we increase the time. What do you guys think? Okay, so the book that I'm going to read today is by Jack Perletsky. It's called Awful Ogre Running Wild. And the illustrations are by Paul O. Zielinski. And this actually isn't a book that I'm going to read from front to back because it's a collection of poems. And so I'm just going to choose a few to read. Let's read the first one. Awful ogre runs wild. I'm running wild this morning. I'm flinging pots of beans. I'm heaving melons at the wall. They burst to smithereens. I pull apart my pillow. I overturn my bed. I swing my cudgel rampantly then bang it on my head. My pets are in a tizzy. They scramble for the door. As with my trusty battle axe, I chop a bit of floor. There hardly is a single thing I do not decimate. For summer is beginning, and I thought I'd celebrate. Awful ogre exercises. I'm doing calisthenics with my awful ogre friends, a bit of ogre yoga, and some massive deep knee bends. We ride in place on bicycles until the pedals break, then bounce about on trampolines, which makes the building shake. We toss around some boulders of enormous size and weight, and then a dozen anvils and a stack of boilerplate. We're rosy with exertion. We grimace, gasp, and groan. My friends all quit. They've had enough. So now I'm on my own. I hoist an anchor overhead. It weighs a ton or two. A feat not many ogres are strong enough to do. There's nothing like a workout at the awful ogre gym. An ogre has to exercise to keep himself in trim.
This one's short. My awful ogre, sorry, awful ogre speaks of toast. My toaster's out of order, but I'm no knucklehead. Until it's properly pre repaired, a dragon toasts my bread. <laughs> what is that creature? So we've got Awful Ogre Paints a Picture, Awful Ogre's Picnic, Awful Ogre Enters a Cook-Off, <laughs> Awful Ogre Attends a Concert, that one looks fun, Awful Ogre Pays a Visit, Awful Ogre Speaks of Transportation, this one's short, let's do this one. If I could ride a horse, I would, but horses are too small. And when I mount an elephant, it tends to trip and fall. Some dinosaurs were large enough. Alas, they are no more. So I'm obliged to walk a lot. That's why my feet are sore. Ouch! Yeah, that horse doesn't look like it's having a good time. Awful ogre all alone. Hmm. Awful ogre causes a commotion. Ooh, this one looks fun. The forest quaked and trembled, and the goblins shrieked and fled. The elves were in a panic, and the trolls rolled out of bed. My buzzard shed some feathers, and the gnomes fell to their knees, and all because this afternoon I sneezed a single sneeze. I'll show you the, the whole picture. Awful Ogre Swims. On sweltering days, I'm utterly fond of taking a dip in the neighborhood pond. I bring my piranha, it's special for him. We dive in together and merrily swim. We splash and we splish with exuberant glee. The pond has no fish, so he nibbles on me. There's nothing like swimming when summer's too hot. Piranhas and ogres love water a lot. <laughs> Look at the piranha nibbling on his toe. What is this thing? <laughs> Awful Ogre and the Animals. Awful Ogre stays at an inn. Awful Ogre goes dragon watching. Awful Ogre reflects on the summer. That sounds appropriate for today. Summer seems to be coming to an end. Oh, it's been an awful summer. A delightful, awful summer. Just the sort of awful summer Awful Ogre does adore. But at, at last, alas, it's ending. Yes, my awful summer's ending. My delightful, awful summer now is practically no more. Yet I won't forget this summer this delightful, awful summer, when I exercise my body and my awful ogre head. But the summer sun is gone now, and the moon and stars are here now, so it's time that awful ogre 
headed awfully to bed. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed those poems. Maybe it has inspired you to write some of your own. All of those were rhyming poems. Maybe you could write the next one for the awful ogre. What are other some other things that the awful ogre would be doing? Okay, I will see you later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.